This is an ePoolscapes presentation. Hello, my name is Michael Chaffee, owner of ePoolscapes.com. This is one of a series of video clips that has been produced by ePoolscapes in order to provide an explanation for some of the swimming pool industry terminologies. This segment involves clarification as to the term known as the swimming pool plumbing system. The pool's plumbing system consists of a device referred to as a main drain. Although its name is a bit of a misnomer, being called a drain at all, as this device isn't actually a drain, but it is one of the suction devices for filtration, the other being the surface skimmer. The main drains rest at the bottom of a swimming pool, enabling the filtration system's pump to draw a proportionate amount of water from the bottom of the pool into the pump's intake. After a young girl named Virginia Graham Baker had drowned in a hot tub by being trapped on a defective main drain cover, an act was passed that now mandates that all suction inlets that enter a swimming pool shell must be outfitted with an approved safety cover that correlates with the suction flow characteristic for open grate space per the manufacturer's published values. Additionally, these devices must also be plumbed into a dual split conformity that is separated by a three-foot minimum distance. The surface skimmer devices are to be plumbed independently from the main drain and separated by a properly sized dedicated suction pipe, generally a one and a half inch for 32.5 gallons per minute at five feet per second or a two inch for a 52.5 gallons per minute at five feet per second flow characteristic. They are to have the equalizer line split into two approved drain pool inlets, as shown here, which will need to be separated by three foot minimum as well and have a manufacturer's approved cover per the vertical wall conformity placement. The flow characteristic for vertical walls differ from the pool bottom placements for covers. Recognize that there is a term that is referred to as industry standards, and in the boundaries of such a broad term of unrefined identity, the illusions of expectations evaporate into a gaping hole of differing standards. One of these is how a main drain becomes subordinate to the functions of a skimmer's single pipe plumbing configuration. The often unrecognized and cheaper approach to building a swimming pool's plumbing system will marry your pool to a greater potential for decay and unmanageable water chemistry that can end up costing many times more than the cost of an extra pipe from the equipment to the pool. The skimmer device has two connections on the bottom and although one is to be run to the pool equipment pad and one is to be connected to the equalizer line, some industry practices connect the equalizer line to the main drain, thus eliminating an independently operable isolation control that should be done at the pool equipment pad and forcing all suction sources to run through one single pipe from the pool. The equalizer line float valve, or commonly referred to as the diverter valve, is vulnerable to failing due to debris settling in the skimmer's bottom and the debris getting between the o-ring seal at the bottom and the float valve body. When this happens, and if the skimmer is the sole suction device, then when a main drain is connected to the equalizer line, it can fail to draw water from the bottom of the pool. As a result of such failure, a single pipe pool won't have adequate bottom suction and because the chemicals that are added into the pool's water are heavier than water, they settle on the bottom and concentrate. This scenario creates a corrosive environment at the lower depths and will, in time, deteriorate the plaster and will exponentially add to the chemical cost for maintaining your water chemistry. The other half of the swimming pool's plumbing system involves the return lines, and in delivering water back to the pool, it should consider how the returning water flow will affect surface action and become part of 
the determination for the positioning of the surface skimmers. Although the general rule of thumb is to have one skimmer device in approximately every 500 square feet of pool space, some pool configurations may adversely affect the returning water and diminish the desired results. The objective is to provide the placements of the return lines in a fashion that can create a counter-rotation water movement on the surface and at the intersections where the throat of the skimmers are located to result in a slight lull in flow, thus allowing the surface skimmer's suction to overcome the surface flow and draw floating debris into the interior leaf basket. In planning and preparing for the distribution of the swimming pool's piping network, the termination of these piping considerations will involve anticipation and designation of the operational functionalities being conscripted to the desired pool functions. In making these determinations, one of the choices will be to utilize a pressure side pool cleaner or a suction side pool cleaner. If a pressure side cleaner is desired, then a three-quarter horsepower booster pump will be required and this pump will run simultaneously with the filtration pump during the filtration mode of operation. Because the cleaner booster pump is required to run in conjunction with the filtration pump, it is our recommendation to utilize a suction side cleaner instead for several reasons. The first being the reduction of power being consumed by the three-quarter horsepower motor which, by the way, may have a service factor that actually acts as a multiplier in order to determine the true horsepower rating. It is the horsepower rating that demands the amp load, or power, being consumed, and this power load, together with the power load of the filtration pump, will become your kilowatt-hour consumptive use. So, by eliminating the need for the booster pump and utilizing a suction side cleaner, the power that is required to run the pump isn't needed. There are other factors that can involve a swimming pool's piping network, together with pipe sizing calculations, isolation valve designations, affirmation of hydraulic head losses, desired design flow characteristics, and operational functionalities that we will cover in other video segments. These will involve water features, in-ground spas, waterfalls, fire and fire water features, deck and laminar jets and other swimming pool outdoor living environment enhancements. We realize that building swimming pools isn't brain surgery, but in order to build something with anticipatable results and deliver upon an expectation, it does require action, decision, knowledge, and experience in order to become realized. At ePoolsCapes, we organize your approach in planning to target where you want to go, measure what you want to evaluate, identify the variables that will secure the results from the construction activity we specify together. So, if you don't want to gamble on the unbelievable price, then make sure it's being built correctly and hire a second pair of eyes that works for you specifically and can provide you a swimming pool industry level of critiquing eyes inspection.